right, so I feel like I am back in the kitchen at Olivia's today. Of course, they always we always want to transport you there, but this we got the the chicken is blackening. We have the uh, what do we got here? This is pineapple. Well, underneath all this grill. stuff, Sean, I got um, my smoke machine blasting <laughs> up. You know what I mean? It's very intense. Yeah, yeah. But the flavor, the smell is amazing. Exactly. Because uh, Yanni, what are we making today? Okay. Well, we got a lot going on, as mm -hmm. you can see. And yes, all that smoke in the air, all the smells in your nose. That's because we're blackening the chicken. All right. I talked about the cayenne pepper two weeks ago. Yes. It's real healthy for you. It's good yes. for your blood. So I'm using that heavily in my meat seasoning. The okay. recipe's online and check out and what that's else I've got going on. Seed. That's like the, that's like when you hear blackened, that means like the season on there is blackening. And it means also when you hear blackening a little mm -hmm. bit on the spicier side okay. of things as well. So be aware. And it means both sides have seasoning on them. Okay. 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 So that's okay. why all these smells are in the air. You now going right here. You, you want to stir this around Let with that? Yep. What is that, Sean? What, what did like we do we last got some week? Mushrooms. We've got a risotto going. This is the first part of the risotto. Yes, that's a shallot in there, yes, all right? We shallot. got our walnuts that we're roasting. We put our mushrooms in there, and we put some, uh, that's it, in a garlic butter, Don't and that's much. it. We're going to respect those products, yes. right? We're going to cook them. When they're done, we'll deglaze them with white wine. I got them at a low heat moving. Now, Sean, mm -hmm. keep those tongs up, baby. Oh, what do you think? Bad. You're my done bad. working? No, no, never pineapple done. now. Go ahead and flip these pineapples around. We might need the overhead cam for this one. Never mind. Yeah. We got a true professional here. How about this directing? Look at that. Look at that. Okay? Now, when you see the I broke it up. Hey, hey, hey easy there. You're not <laughs> fired, but it's coming out of your paycheck. Okay, that's okay. All right. Slice. So look, you're flipping the pineapple. You got chicken moving. We got risotto going. It's that same risotto we did last week. I want to keep working with these mushrooms and these walnuts. I try to be real seasonal when I'm doing my thing. I'm trying to take this seriously, okay? So that's all in there. While Sean is... Feverishly yeah. flipping the, the, You know what? I love grilled pineapple. It does something to the point where it's I agree. Amazing. I agree. Now, because I went so heavy on the seasoning for the chicken, mm -hmm. I actually just went enough, no seasoning for my pineapple, okay? okay? There's enough sweetness, like you said, when you cook it, it's going to extract a lot of those juices out of the pineapple. That is going to be enough for the flavor of this dish because we got so much going on. What now, nice enough though? I was just getting ready to talk about that. Funny you should ask. Now, I got pears that I'm cutting currently, all right? Pears, they're in season right now. With this dish, you see you got pineapple for summer. You got pears and walnuts for the, you know, fall and the winter. I'm trying to fuse both. I know we're on the end of summer, but it's not quite done. Whoa. But also, we're, uh, you know, saying hello to fall. We're getting excited. We're putting our jackets on in the morning. So I'm trying to fuse everything, all right? So I'm making a pear salsa, that metal bowl, Mom. Right here. Sean, we I'm just hold it in you. your hands? Hold it, Thank you, brother. I got poblano <laughs> peppers. Which mm. I got, hot. no, not too hot. Less hot than a jalapeno, if you will. But a little bit. Yes, a little bit of spice. I got dried cranberries that I diced up, okay? Nothing says come on fall like her dried cranberries. This really nothing. I'm excited the for this. Okay. The, the fall and the pear. But yes. Sean, yes. I knew you were going to be here. Yes. I had to add some controversy. There you go. It is a salsa after all. Yeah. I got a little bit of cilantro, Mom. Will you, well, could we get a table, uh, anything to mix around this salsa, please? Of course. Anything. Food? Yeah, sure. a mixer, if you will. Okay. A little bit of cilantro. Yes, a little bit of cilantro. Right One thing I want to talk about, too, I need a little bit of brown sugar in here. It's going to help with that sweetness of the pear. I also want to squeeze a lime on there. Yeah. Why do I want to squeeze a lime? Well, you I want the acidic. The acidity, the, yes, yes. And for the flavor. But also, squeezing a lime is going to help prevent your pears from browning. Ooh, that's okay? a pro tip. Yes. Apples, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, the same thing. All right? So there's your pear salsa. Go ahead and stir it around, Sean. We're going to taste that to flavor during the break. I think this is almost ready for a white wine. We've got a lot going on. Anything else you want to talk about? You know what? There's so many different smells and, and flavors going on here. I cannot wait to see how they con uh, com combine and come together because I know you got, you got that master plan. Yeah. Um, this is one thing. Over here, this is the, uh, the second half of the party. What are you making? Oh, I'm making. I, w I wanted to incorporate some of the things that Yanni was using, yes. so I'm making a pepper pineapple margarita. Pepper pineapple margarita. Jackie, I know you'll love the sound of that. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to let them finish up, but we do have other parts of the show to get to.